Well, everybody pretty much knows me here. My name is Wes Howard. I'm candidate for Lexington County Council in District 3, which is the main town of Lexington, uh, all the way out to Cox Ferry on the west and bordering North uh, Lake Drive, and then it meanders across Main Street on the backside of Harmon Street. Uh, I'm running to return a voice of common sense conservatism to our county council. Uh, we, we have a county council that is has nine Republican seats on it, and uh, they seem to be more concerned with things about how we plant our trees and cut our grass and uh, spending $110,000 on, on trees around the admin building when they, they're not properly funding our SWAT team and we have private citizens that have to do fundraisers for our SWAT team, which is absolutely the awesome thing that they're willing to do. But then you also have them seemingly more concerned about spending money on you know, seventy-eight hundred dollars for water and beverage service, and golf umbrellas, and uh, liquor decanters, and leather-bound portfolios. Uh, and then we have issues that happened last year with Amazon. Um, it, it just—it's it, almost as if they, they live in a parallel universe versus the real Lexington County, where our moms and dads and small business owners have to operate every day. Uh, they, they're constantly looking on, on ways to spend our money and uh, increase our taxes. And a lot of the things, if, if you pay attention, that they're doing with our public safety, which is indeed the, the bulk of the budget. Uh, just recently, they took almost $10 million worth of fire trucks out of the firehouses, which indeed does make you and your family less safe. And in the same year, they raised your taxes. So what they're doing is they're basically making you and your families less safe, and they're charging you more money to do that. Uh, to me, that's not common sense, nor is it conservative, nor is it pro-family, nor is it pro-small business. Um, I absolutely am somebody that believes that we need less regulation. Um, I'm, I'm not about uh, getting into office and, and seeing how many ordinances I can pass. Um, I'm, I'm concerned about two things. What are my actions in office going to do to our families first? What are they going to do to our small businesses second? Um, every time that any government entity takes more of our families and our small businesses money, that means that we have less. That means that we have less freedom to make choices with our family, with our children's college funds, with any money that you may be setting aside for retirement, with anything that you may be thinking about doing to expand your business and to grow your business. I'm interested in trying to do the best that we can do to help those that create jobs and generate wealth do that and do it better. And I'm of the belief that when government gets out of the way, everybody in Lexington County will be better for it. I'm not somebody that's interested in passing an ordinance telling you where to plant your trees and how to cut your grass and having a criminal penalty along with that. I, I think that we need to have a new focus in County Council. Uh, a lot of folks have been up there for a long time. Uh, everybody that I've, I've dealt with on County Council has been absolutely nice to me. They've placated me, but they've continued to do what they've done for years and years and years, which is to blow out the budget, increase our taxes, and do things like buying the dangerous ambulances, taking the fire trucks out of the firehouses, and by the way, they have a plan to hire 75 more firefighters over five years. And at the end of those five years, I feel fairly certain the folks on council are going to expect each and every one of us to buy brand new shiny fire trucks, and they'll expect us to pay full retail for that. Now, that brings my question to my mind, why did they buy the $10 million worth of fire trucks to begin with, if they didn't need them? And guess who they're going to expect to foot the bill? Us. I don't believe that that's appropriate, I don't believe that that's pro-family, I don't believe that that's pro-business. And it's time that we had somebody that's willing to say, no, let's stop. It's time that we had somebody that understands how our public safety works, how it functions on the street, what our sheriff's deputies, firefighters, and paramedics need, and what they don't need. There's not a person on county council that has my experience. I had over 10 years of experience of being a paramedic and being on special tactical teams. I'm a former member of the Lexington County Cover Team. And I understand the response that will happen when somebody dies 911. And that's an incredibly <coughs> expensive response. Now, does that keep us safe generally? Yes. But are they doing things that absolutely do not make sense? <coughs> yes. And unlike every other candidate that's running for the District 3 seat, I'm putting my money where my mouth is because I'm literally going to have to sacrifice my career with the county. 
And I absolutely love being a medic. I love serving my county. I love serving you and your family. That may sound corny, but I plead guilty because that's just who I am. I'm passionate about our county, and I'm passionate about making sure that everybody in Lexington County has opportunities to succeed and to grow. And I do not believe that the answer to that success and that growth lies in governmental direction. I believe that it lies at the hands of our moms and our dads and our small business owners that wake up every day without somebody on county council calling them and telling them to get up and go to work. They know when they need to cut the grass. They know when they need to plant the trees. But a lot of us don't know about the gross waste that takes place in all these different departments. And that's because of their behavioral counseling. I think that it's time from every small business owner that I've talked to that we had a voice of common sense conservatism and somebody that's willing to say no. Somebody that's willing to say, guess what? You're asking us to do something that's going to put a, a greater burden on our families and our small businesses. And obviously, there's not somebody on council that's willing to do that, but I am. And that's exactly why I'm running. Because for so long, and many of you in this room know, because you tried to deal with county council just as I have, in private, not trying to embarrass our county. And Lord knows we all know there's lots of politicians from Lexington County that do a good job of embarrassing us. Uh, so we, don't, we don't need to, to help that along. But when we try to deal with them in private, and we try to talk with them, and we try to reason with them, They'll placate us, and then they'll go right on and do what they want to do. And I'm not one of those folks that need to be watched. I'm not one of those folks that need to be called. I'm a conservative. I've always been a conservative. I've always been involved in conservative politics since I was in high school. I understand that the basis of our society is our family. And the growth of that is our small businesses that generate wealth and that employ people. The small business community in Lexington County is indeed the backbone of our economy. It's not the Michelins and the Amazons and the U.S. Foods. Now, that I want them here, absolutely. I love the jobs. I love the wealth that they create. But they are indeed a small fraction of our economic wealth and our economic growth in our county. And that's why I understand that we need a county council that's focused on doing everything that they can to help our small businesses and to help our families. And increasing our taxes in the worst economy since the Great Depression is not how you help our families, in my own opinion. It's not how you help our small businesses, in my own opinion. And that's why I'm running. And I sincerely hope I can count on your support. I can count on your vote if you live in District 3. I don't know how many, how many of you live in here. I see some faces that I know where you live. And if you're not in my district, um, there's one. I know I've got his support already. But and we got your yard sign coming, by the way. Thanks, sir. But, um, that's, that's the end of my little speech. Is there any business community? It's not the big Amazon deals with the mission of yeah. Let's give Wes a hand, folks. Okay, please do.